Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready. Let's start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you and welcome to News Day with Dr. J, where we celebrate culture and community right here at Newman Smith High School. Happy Monday to you. Today we're giving a big shout out to our Trojan golfers. This is their district tournament today and tomorrow. So let's go Trojan golf and I hope the rain stays away so you can have a successful district tournament. Our word of the day is teeming. It's an adjective. It means abundantly filled, usually with living organisms. The sample sentence is, doorknobs are not as clean as they look and are often teeming with germs. Our quote of the day is, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Now, if you're a jogger, you know this to be a fact. Just keep jogging. Doesn't matter how slow you go, just don't stop. At that point, you've lapped everyone sitting on the couch. All right, last Friday, attendance was terrible, y'all. 88.68%, not positive. But our freshmen with 92.46 really brought it home. Way to go, freshmen. Prom is coming up April 13th. Remember, we will not sell tickets at the door, so make sure you grab those prom tickets. Also that morning is Casey's Run, so don't forget to get out and sign up. Well, on the news with me today, she's one of my favorites, and I know yours too. Let's welcome Miss Hagedorn. Okay, Miss Hagedorn, this is your Super Bowl, but what makes it your Super Bowl? Well, I mean, being a science geek helps, uh, but this is such a rare event and something I personally have never gotten to witness in its entirety. Like, the la like we had a partial solar eclipse back in October, but again, partial. And I've never been able to travel to where I could see the full total eclipse because, again, the rarity is amazing and it's, it's, it's a and just the, the things that have to happen to make it happen and for it to be here is amazing to me. So I, I heard that we're going to have over 700,000 people coming to the DFW area two weeks from today, y'all, two weeks from today. But those 700,000 people aren't going to get half the entertainment and show that Newman Smith High School is getting. So Ms. Hagedorn and the Science Department have taken the lead on the activities that we're going to do that day. So during the news week, we're just going to inform you about a few basic things, but we're going to give you some advisory lessons, some science lessons, so that you're fully prepared for our plan on Monday, April 8th. So what's this slide here? So we're talking about what is a solar eclipse, because, you know, the word eclipse means to block out or cover, and a solar eclipse happens whenever the moon, we get a new moon, so at the beginning of the lunar cycle, when it happens to be perfectly in front of the sun because the, even though the sun is 400 times as big as the moon the moon is 400 times closer by awesome cosmic coincidence so if it, everything lines up just right the moon will perfectly cover and you'll get now since the sun is bigger you get a lot of shade around and so like in october what we got if you see where it says the penumbra that's what we got was we got a partial eclipse we only got part of the shadow we are going to get what's called the umbra, which is the full shadow this time. And notice that's a way smaller little dot. And so we are perfect, it's perfectly placed. So I heard they're calling this the path of totality. Path of totality. And it's a very small path. It cuts across the United States. And actually people down in Houston will see this before we do. And it'll cut. Oh, wow. Uh, now, the reason it's so rare, a lot of people are under the impression like, well, if it's when the moon blocks out the sun... We should see that once a month. The problem is the moon's orbit is not flat. 
it's not in the same plane as the sun. So a lot of the time when the moon is in front of the sun, the shadow passes over the earth or below the earth. So this doesn't happen all the time. A, a partial solar eclipse happens on earth every, usually on average, year and a half or so. But we're, we're going to get it where it's perfectly lined up and where we're, because you know the moon's orbit not perfectly circular, so sometimes if it's further away, it doesn't fully block out the sun anyway. We are going to get it where it's at the closest approach so that it literally blocks out everything but the corona. And it's so cool. Oh, I love it. Well, guys, you're going to hear more from Ms. Hagedorn until we get to this eclipse day. She's going to be in here on the news giving us some facts. Ms. Hagedorn, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Will you help me close? Absolutely. We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And make, make it, it a great, great day or not, the choice, choice is yours. yours.